Hello, mummies and daddies. I would like to talk to you about our topic. No place like home, the British Islands. First week we spent thinking about home. Yeah, we are learning from home and that can be sometimes difficult. But I want to help you to make home learning a little adventure for you and your children. Just think about your childhood as I thought about my childhood. I remember with my sisters and brother, we used to explore the best places, mom's bedroom, wardrobe, what she was had there, and we were dressing up kitchen. We were trying to make something when she wasn't in the kitchen and then taste or we just threw away. So for next week we will put into your home pack four symbols. Come in closer. Bedroom, garden, kitchen and bathroom. Each of these places can be a place for adventure. Think about garden. I make a little garden from sensory materials to show you. So, my scarves hanging, yellow and blue. Some plants, flowers. We know children like to smell. They like to touch. Let them explore grass. If you have sand and water in the garden, even better. Next is bedroom. Again, you can show to the child symbol and think and ask where is the bedroom and watch your child may point by direction Take child there and let explore. You may look at clothes, toys, books. Even better, take child to your bath, your bedroom. So example, blouse. You can put it on the child, put little bell and make nice dress and have fun. Again, Shiny fabrics, material and scarves. Good for dressing, good for touching and looking at it. Bang banglasses, necklaces. That's a very good sensory exploration. Just make sure everything is safe and you watch chart all time. And when child is ready and well dressed up, mirror. Children like reflection, so you can use it. Next room, see kitchen. Usually in kitchen, moms or dads are busy cooking. Why not to let child explode during that time? Offer to the child food you use for cooking. Child can roll it, touch it, reach it, hold it. Smell, that's very important. Temperature, feel on the skin and help them. Encourage them to do more. Use these symbols and do again more or ask do you want same, different and they can do it. If you use timetable, you may have symbols like breakfast cereals. Help child to see what is hiding in the cupboards. It can be food, you can put some out, 
They can touch boxes, squeeze it, listen to the sounds, or touch textures. Yeah? And use cups. I'm sure you've got plastic cups. I don't have plastic, so children can stack their cups, roll them on the floor, bang them, and they can do it every day if you want to. It's up to you. One more room. So, bathroom. Usually we go there for bath. Wash teeth. And there are other things to look at. We already suggested to you to use toothbrush and paste and make some marks and fingers or, you know, mark making in toothpaste, which is good. It's sensory. Children may like smell and they will be more familiar and I hope it will help them when they brush teeth as well. Or hair brushes. You can use them not just on hair. Children can touch them. You can put them on the skin. You can give them little massage. And last interesting thing, toilet roll. Why not let your child to pull pull, roll, you can do singing, wide the bobbin up, you can put it back, or you can char let the child take so much toilet paper and then have fun. You take your toilet paper, throw it, let it go, and child will have fun and ask, do you want more? Yes, more, and you can do it with your child. So, I know you are very creative. Let's think with your child. How make home fun for, for the children? How make home memorable so child can learn, child can use it everything and everything safe, of course, each space to learn, to have fun, to be happy. Thank you.